from those in Los Angeles to the NFL to the streets right here in New York. This past summer, on an otherwise ordinary Saturday afternoon, unarmed teenager Michael Brown was shot and killed by a police officer as he was walking down the street. The tragedy sent shockwaves across America, and the town of Ferguson, Missouri, instantly became the focus of national attention for all the wrong reasons. Um, the Ferguson uh, trials, like, kind of hit me hard because it just like shocked me and how like why did this happen and how just the craziness of the media reaction to it like how can something like this happen to a kid who is almost basically innocent he just was walking home and like how do people frame him for being the one who instigated it and it's just like it shocked me that someone could get away with that that easily yeah the media storm that followed only seemed to fuel the escalating tension. While the images of conflict and protests again ignited the ongoing debate about justice in America. When anyone's life is taken by a shooting, it's a tragedy. However, I feel that the Ferguson, Missouri shooting has been way overplayed by the media, and I feel that the media took a negative spin on what was, what really happened and what should have happened. Almost all the coverage of Ferguson has focused on the question of the protesters, largely African American from the St. Louis metro area and other places who are angry about what they view as police misconduct and the shooting death of an 18-year-old boy. But in the midst of this controversy, it is all too easy to forget that there are real people grieving and a family struggling to deal with the tragic death of their teenage son. And the first thing I saw, they let me know, was the yellow tape. And I asked them, can I look and see, is that my son? And told me, no. And I repeatedly asked that for their four and a half hours we were out there. And they would. I wanted to see for myself. I believe that there was wrong on both sides. I understand the cop's point of view of since the kid did steal from the store, but I also believe that he should have just taken him down, not killed him. I think it's wrong to shoot to kill. Of your police force, the number and uh, how many of them are, are white? I just want clarification of that. I mean, they keep saying three of our three are African American, but I actually believe it's five. There was six, but one left uh, 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 fairly recently. Um, we also have a Hispanic and two. Uh, Asian Pacific 6% Island. of police stops are African Americans, 92% of police searches, nearly 93% of arrests. Even though they stopped more blacks, more whites had contraband. A lot of people are trying to make this, Dana, about black and white and trying to make this about race. This is part of this effort to make it everything about race. Is this a story about race? Do we know the that? The military, we're trained on something called escalation of force, uh, which basically means the only time that you're really going to point a weapon directly at someone is when you're re ready to pull the trigger. And instead of that, we've seen in Ferguson that uh, police are just wandering around uh, with their weapons up at all times, pointing them at, at people that obviously didn't pose I'll a threat. Honest with you, I have mixed emotions or views on it, I guess. I don't know, you know enough about either side to really give you a, a you know, definitive answer one way or the other. There's certainly a lot of facts uh, involved in both sides of the, of the situation. Obviously, the biggest thing is, is you know, um, in the, the murder of the young man, it's, it's certainly a tragedy. And there are Americans who agree with it, and there are Americans who are deeply disappointed, even angry. It's an understandable reaction. But I join Michael's parents in asking anyone who protests this decision to do so peacefully.